everybody. Welcome. We will get started in just a minute or so. We'll wait till some viewers pop on. But welcome to Friday. All right. So we're not going to waste too much time. I'm going to read the disclaimer and we're going to get rolling. So uh, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual classes are tailored to Canadian Forces personnel and become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown and it is entirely up to the individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it's preferred to consult your physician prior uh, to beginning any exercise program, we invite, you, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces military personnel to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference documents. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is re recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If a CAF member sustains an injury during this video, please make sure to fill out a CF-98. So, uh, hello everybody, I hope you can see me okay. My name is Emily and I am a FSI at the dockyard in Halifax. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a mixture of mobility and um, yoga, more leaning towards the mobility side. So I'm excited to get that started uh, with you. All you're gonna need today is a mat or some type of flat surface. Um, a dowel or if you can hold on to a wall, just something to provide you some support and a foam roller um, or a really firm pillow. So I'll give you a moment just to grab that. Um, while we're waiting, we're just going to center ourselves and we're going to find our breathing. Our breath is really important in what we're doing today. I am going to play some music. Um, if it doesn't have the best quality or if you're having a hard time hearing me or it just sounds like noise just drop a comment in the comment section and I will turn it off. So let's come to a seated position. Uh, we're going to cross our legs, we're going to close our eyes and we're just going to stay here for a moment or so just finding our breath. Practice breathing into your hands, in your belly and then exhale. As you inhale, allow your diaphragm to fill up with air. Exhale, force all the air out of your system. Let's continue on, inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Continue on your own for three more breaths. Great. I'm going to get you to just allow your eyes to just flutter open. We're going to just inhale our shoulders up to our ears. Exhale, breathe down and back. Just start to bring a little bit of awareness back to your body. We'll do five breaths going down and back and then we'll do five breaths going forward. I'm 
let's rotate that the other way. Pull our shoulders towards the front of the room. Doing our best to match our movement with our breath. And when we get into some deeper stretching exercises today, you'll definitely feel the purpose of doing that. Today we're really gonna focus on opening up our hips. So with that said, we're gonna come on to our hands and knees at this point. And we're just going to rock back and forth, switching your weight from your right side to your left side and as we transfer the weight from the left to the right you're going to think about pushing your hip towards the floor that has the least amount of weight on it so if your right knee is making contact with the floor you're really opening your left hip to the floor while keeping the knee on the ground and you'll feel a lovely stretch in through your hip flexor Try the same thing on the other side. So you should be feeling a stretch through your groin. I'll turn to the side just so you can see. So I'm pressing through my knee, pressing the palm, having a stretch through my hip flexor. Good, now we're just gonna rock back and forth, just very gently, push through the palms. Now any area that you feel some tightness, allow yourself to just stay in that position for a little bit longer. So this is not child's pose, but we're kind of halfway there. The difference here is that we're keeping our chest up nice and high. And we're just kind of doing some stretching through a range of motion. Three more breaths here. Great job. Okay, come on back up into our hands and knees. We're going to open the hips just a little bit. So Pretending that we are a dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> I know that might sound silly. We're gonna tighten our belly, pulling the rib cage downwards, and we're just going to open the hip. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Shift the weight and the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna do this three times per side. Allowing your breath to guide the duration of the movement. Good. Now once you've done three, you can kind of push back again. Give yourself a little reprieve from that movement. Pushing the palms back allowing our glutes or our bottom to come close to our ankles. Keeping the belly button tucked in to the spine. And we're just gonna return back to that original stretch in which we pushed our knee into the floor and then allowed our hip to sink a little bit closer to our mat and feel the stretch through our hip flexor and through our groin. Let's hold it here for three breaths per side. Inhale on that third breath. Allow the exhale into the fourth to switch sides.
great job. We're going to come back to our tabletop position. I would like you just to curl your toes underneath. I hope you can see my feet. Comments are kind of blocking my line of vision a little bit, so that's okay. So we're going to curl our toes underneath. We're just going to push through our palms, and we're going to just search for the sky with our hips into a downward dog. Bring the heels to the floor. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me in the camera. And we're slowly getting to a standing position. Let's just allow the head to hang here for a moment. In the downward dog, your hips are searching for the sky and your heels are searching for the ground. Stay here for two more breaths. Very slowly, I want you to bend your knees, walk your knees up to meet your hands. And as you're here, you bend your knees as much as you need to. Cross your hands or cross your arms so that you're holding on to opposite elbows. And allow yourself to just hang here in ragdoll for just a moment. We'll spend three breaths here. Feel your belly breathing into your legs. As you reach your third breath, I want you to inhale to half back, bring the shoulders down towards, away from the ears. Exhale here at the knee. And now allow yourself to inhale to a stand. All right. Thank you guys so much. So hopefully you're warmer at this point. We're now going to go into some mobility poses or mobility exercises. So what I want you to do at this point is just to allow yourself um, to be creative in your modifications. I'll cue you along the way. But if you find something challenging, um, you sometimes just have to play with the move a little bit until you find what works for you. So don't give up. Um, it might just be a little, little revision that you have to make for yourself. Um, before you feel that stretch. So just be patient. So what we're gonna do, you can hold on to your dowel or your broomstick if you need to. I am gonna use mine uh, today. I've done some running and some other movements, so my balance is a little bit off. So we're gonna just do a couple exercises that open up the hip flexors. We're going to start by taking a large step forward. Now I'm gonna back up so that you can see both feet. Now, my front foot, is going to start flat on the ground, but we are going to elevate that in a moment if you're comfortable. Your back foot, the only goal here is that the back foot is behind the glute. So it doesn't have to be extreme. And you have a slight bend in that back knee. That's actually where we're getting our stretch from. So hopefully you can see me in this direction. Um, so I'm going to just lift now my front heel off the floor. So let's everyone do that together. Lift the front heel off the floor. And now you're gonna bend the back knee down just ever so slightly and you're going to lean forward. Now, here is the hard part. Squeeze your bum cheek of the foot that's behind, okay? So that's going to provide you very limited range, that's okay. Come forward as much as you can. Keep the chest up. This heel is off the floor. That's why we have our wall or our dowel for a little bit of support. And we're going to stay here in this lunge position for three breaths. So let's inhale. 
and exhale. Allow a bend in that back knee. You should be feeling it in through your hip flexor. Excellent. So now bring your front foot to the floor. Straighten the front knee. Allow your dowel to help you. Take a step forward. Switch hands of the dowel. We're just going to do the same exercise on the other side. So we had a combination of some strengthening in the front leg and some flexing and uh, stretching in the back leg. Be sure to flex the glute, tighten the glute. That's what's going to help you feel the stretch. So again, stepping forward with the opposite foot. The opposite foot from last time goes back. Again, you want to avoid any type of rotation. So stepping back, just like you're going to do a lunge. Bending that back knee, bringing the front heel off the floor, and then you're just bending forward, feeling that lovely stretch in through the groin. And depending on your mobility, you may have to move your foot forward or back just to feel this a little bit more. I know for me, one side is always significantly tighter than the other. Let's stay here. So we're pushing that front knee forward. Let's stay here for three breaths. Beautiful. Straighten that knee. Come back to center. Excellent. We're gonna do that one more time per side. Stepping forward, opposite foot behind, bending the back knee ever so slightly, raising the front heel off the ground, and now we're allowing ourselves to move forward. That knee comes over the toe. making sure that you're activating the back glute that's what's going to get you the stretch if you're saying oh I'm not feeling it ask yourself is that back glute tight 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 that's what we're going to feel if I release it I can go all the way forward but when it's tight I'm getting the stretch that I want Remember that activation, hold for two more breaths. Excellent, push through the front leg, switch it up. Last time on this side, you guys are doing really, really well. Back foot, step it back. Remember, back knee slightly bent. Front knee bent into a lunging position. Tighten the back glute. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift that front heel off the floor. Feel the stretch in through your groin. Again, if you're not feeling that stretch, ask yourself how tight you're activating that glute. Hold here for three breaths. Excellent, let's push through the front foot and we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna come into a ragdoll position. Inhale, exhale, bending the knees, hinging our hips, allowing ourselves just to float to the floor. Breathing into our belly. Our legs should be feeling our belly breathe. Stay here for five breaths.
two more breaths. Go ahead, bring the hands to the shins, inhale, to a half breath, exhale the shoulders away from your ears, inhale back to a stand. All right, we're gonna go into our next stretch, uh, or our next mobility exercise. Very similar to our last, um, but also incredibly different, and you'll feel that as we go. So uh, you can use a dowel for this, but you probably won't need it as much as you do for the other. Um, we're going to take a step forward, and we're gonna drop the back knee to the floor. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to make sure the back foot, you can see my back foot in this position, is flat to the floor, because we're gonna be pressing through this position, pressing the back, back foot in order to get the stretch. We're going to allow our shoulders to come forward a little bit, and we're gonna press the front heel into the floor. Now, as we do that, we're gonna lean forward, squeezing the glute cheek, just like we did before, squeezing your glute together in the back, and you're gonna feel a really lovely stretch in this position. If you are back here, you're gonna get more range, it's not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for more of a stretch in through the hip flexor. So in order to do that, we're gonna just kind of curl a little bit, tighten the glute, and let's stay here for five breaths. If you're not feeling a stretch, it's because you're not activating your glute. And by activating the glute, I mean squeezing the bum cheek together. <laughs> One more breath here. Let's push through the front knee and we're gonna switch to the opposite side, opposite foot up. If you happen to just be joining us, I will walk you through this again. So this time left foot or opposite foot, depending on what you started on, um, is flat during the top of that foot, flat on the floor. The opposite heel is making contact with the ground, with your knee bent. You're going to squeeze this glute cheek, bum cheek together. And you're going to allow yourself to curl very gently in the front now this knee is coming over this toe, so push the knee forward. Excellent. Making sure that you're squeezing your bottom, that's what's gonna help you get the stretch. Rounding just a little bit, we're only gonna be able to go so far because our mobility in that hip is going to stop us at some point, or in that glute, sorry. Stay here for five breaths. Two more breaths. As you breathe, think about pushing your knee a little bit further into the stretch, a little bit further over the toe. Allow your breath to help you get there. Good, let's push back. We're gonna go into child's pose for a little reprieve, give our knees a little bit of a break. So let's come to the floor, and push through our palms, bring the head to the floor if you can. If you cannot, stack your wrists one on top of another. We're gonna stay here for five breaths.
on your fifth breath, pull back through your palms till you're in a tabletop position. And we're going to come back to a stand and we're going to do something completely new. Now, this is a movement, oh, sorry, my nose is running. Um, this is a movement that you may struggle with um, depending on your balance. Now, if you struggle with this, allow yourself to come back to the floor and while we're doing this movement, just continue to do the movement that we practiced um, a moment ago. If you're comfortable with it, then I encourage you to give it a try. So this is called, uh, this is a form of a split squat. Um, so you're going to have, hold a dial in your hand if need be. You're going to put the back of your foot on a chair uh, or a couch, whatever you have. And you're just going to keep your, you're gonna keep your chest up nice and high and allow the back knee to drop to the floor. Now, if we come forward, we're gonna lose the stretch, which means we have to stay back and again, activate that glute. Stay here for three breaths. Allow your breath to give you more of a range. Great job, let's switch to the other side. Work with each breath to drop a little bit further down to the stretch. Whoop. Losing my balance. So feet are making contact with the floor, chest is up high, rib cage is down, foot is flat on the chair behind me. And I'm dropping that knee down. Great, let's come on out of that one. You guys, I know these are not easy. All right. We're going to go into a pigeon pose. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit about box breathing. But first we'll get ourselves into the position and then we'll talk about our breath. So we're gonna start by having our knees together on the mat, you're going to rotate your knees as far as you can to one side. So your knees are still together. Your feet should be pointing to one of one wall, I guess, wall to your right or the wall to your left. The knee that's in front, you're going to pick it up and place it behind you as you come into a pigeon pose. We're going to do some box breathing. What that means is I want you to envision, like just vision that you have a box in front of you, a square. You're going to breathe in. So your inhale is going to be four seconds. Holding for four seconds. Exhaling for four seconds, holding for four seconds, and continuing in that path. You'll notice that as you breathe, you'll be able to relax further into the stretch. We 
do one more cycle of the box breathing and then we're gonna switch to the other side. On your next inhale, come back onto your palms. Roll to the uh, side in which you were stretching to begin with and then allow yourself to come back to a seated position. This is a hard one to get out of. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, rotate the knees to the opposite side of what you just started on. Bring the knee that's in front behind the knee that's in back and come down into your pigeon pose. Make sure you're engaging your box breathing. Sorry if you guys can't really see me. When you're ready, come on back up onto your palms, roll into a seated position. We're gonna go back into child's pose for a little rest. Some counter stretching. Pull through the palms. Great job, come back to a seated position. We're going to move along. Uh, we're now going to do some ballistic forward folding, so some ballistic stretching through movement. Uh, Lucas, I'm not sure if I'll do this justice, but uh, here it goes. So come to a seated position on your mat, if you weren't already. You're going to bring your feet as far outward as you can. So we're gonna be working on our forward fold in this, these positions. So what I want you to make sure that you're doing is rolling your big toe towards the back of the room, okay? So if you're forward in this position, try your best to rotate the femur so your toes are facing upwards. Okay, and a little bit pointed. Now we're gonna work within our range of motion here. So we're going to make sure that our back is staying up nice and high. We're gonna work with our breath, inhaling, and as we exhale, we're gonna bend forward. Now this is a really um, stiff position for a lot of people and it takes a lot of practice to get into a full pancake. So as we inhale, Exhale, come forward. Inhale, come back to your 
starting position. So let's just do that for 10 breaths. Arms are out to the side. Notice the tightness that you feel because we are going to work through this for a little bit and by the end you'll be very surprised as to how things loosen up. Notice I'm not rolling, curling my shoulders, I'm keeping everything nice and flat, everything's in line, rib cage is down. Let's do three more breaths. Every time that you breathe, feel yourself getting closer to the floor. One more. Great job. Relax the arms. Bring the knees together. We're going to do a 90-90 stretch. So hands come behind. We're leaning back just a little bit. Bring, drop both knees to the floor. And then we're going to rotate to the other side. Just stay here for a couple moments. One more time each side, and then we're going to go into our next progression of that movement. Great job. All right, let's find that positioning again. Remember, big toe to the opposite side of the room. We're going to drop our shoulder down towards our leg as far as we can comfortably allow it, maintaining good posture of the spine. So drop that shoulder down. The shoulder goes first, followed by our arm. We're gonna reach as far as we can. And for some of us, that reach might only be to here, and that's okay. Whatever you can do is perfectly okay. Five breaths here. Keep the shoulder back. Don't allow yourself to cave in. Keep everything in line. Good. Come back to center. Same thing with the other, um, other shoulder. Drop the shoulder towards the leg, towards the knee, and this arm comes over. Stay here for five breaths. One more big deep breath here. If you feel like engaging your box breathing during these, I strongly encourage you to do so. Come back to the center. We're gonna inhale again. This time we're going to go forward into the stretch that we did at the very beginning just to see how much more range we can get. So let's inhale. 
Exhale, hinge up the hips and see how much more we can get into that position. Shoulders stay back, back is staying nice and in line, spine is elongated. Seeing how much closer to the floor we can get. Sorry, I forgot the important part of that. Arms are out to the side. Three breaths here. Excellent job. Okay, let's bring our feet back together. Um, sorry, our feet our heels back to the floor. Our feet are about uh, shoulder width apart. Hands are back. We're gonna go into that 90-90 rotation again. Two more on each side. Excellent. All right, so now you're going to take your foam roller, and I understand not everyone will have one, um, but that's okay. If you don't have one, you can use a really solid um, couch cushion. This one is called the gut smash. <laughs> it doesn't sound the best, I know. Um, but we often store stress in our stomach um, and in the muscles in our stomach. So in order to release that stress we're, and practice our breathing specifically, we're going to uh, do a little bit of stretching in to the diaphragm or breathing into the diaphragm. So if you put your hands on your belly, so if you had the wind knocked out of you, that's where I want you to be feeling. So I want you to inhale and expand the diaphragm. Exhale. Pushing all that air out. So your belly actually gets bigger as you push the air out. Now, the same thing with the foam roller. We're going to come down onto the foam roller and we're gonna do our box breathing here with the foam roller making contact with our belly. Now the importance of the box breathing for this, um, for this particular stretch is that when we have no air in our body and we're kind of relaxing, that's when the foam roller is gonna get to sink further into our abdomen and relax those muscles. So I'll walk you through the first couple. So we're going to inhale. As you inhale, you'll feel your belly getting big, pushing against the foam roller and as you exhale feel your belly sinking into the foam roller for four three two one inhale push away hold two three four exhale Allow yourself to move about your foam roller or your pillow. And breathing into the foam roller, holding for one, two, three, four. Exhaling slowly for four, two, three, four. Allow your stomach to melt into that foam roller. Two, three, Four, and now a big inhale, pressing the belly out into the foam roller. Good, and again, let's move a little bit on the roller to a different part of our belly.
do one more round. So if you're lost, start with me now. Inhale. Two, three, four. Let's hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. And hold that exhale. Good job. All right. Thank you guys very, very much. I encourage you to go into a, a downward dog for a little bit of relaxation and breathing. We are out of time today, but uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm not sure about up in Halifax, but uh, here where I am, it's beautiful, nice and warm, and the sun is shining. So after you're done re your relaxation, I encourage you to get out and enjoy it. So thank you guys so much. We will see you next week. I hope you're all staying well.